In time, the president addressing world leaders at the United Nations. For the latest on that, we'll bring in Newsmax White House correspondent Emerald Robinson, who's live for us outside the United Nations uh, Media Center with more. Emerald. Hi, Sean. Well, the president's address was pretty much what we had expected, him asserting that uh, America is, is quote unquote back, as he puts it, but essentially that America's role on the world stage is not dim dis diminished, excuse me, as he faces uh, criticism from multiple crises going into these, this speech. However, President Biden presenting it as if uh, there, there is no uh, crisis that isn't under control in his administration. Now, what was interesting, though, that we quite didn't expect, uh, Sean and Emma, was the, the tone of gloom and doom. While the president uh, promoted globalism, he warned about impending challenges specifically related to climate change and the pandemic. In fact, the president warning that there would be another pandemic. Will we work together to save lives? defeat COVID-19 everywhere and take the necessary steps to prepare ourselves for the next pandemic, for there will be another one? Or will we fail to harness the tools at our disposal as the more virulent and dangerous variants take hold? And the president also going on to say later in the speech that uh, to beat the pandemic, it would take a, quote, collective act of science and political will. And the word collective, collectiveness, is something that the president used repeatedly in this speech. And that really lies, uh, therein lies the difference between this president's philosophy on foreign policy and America's role in the world, as opposed to his predecessor, Donald Trump. If you think back to Trump's uh, speeches over the years here at the UN General Assembly, and believe, take for instance his 2018 speech, there was this common through line uh, in all of his addresses, specifically in that year, he said, we reject the ideology of globalism and accept the, doc accept the doctrine of patriotism. This is a complete 180 turn. And while Biden wanted to present it uh, as the America is back, he talked about rejoining multilateral institutions, internationalism. He also talked about the role of uh, NGOs in, in uh, coordinating on uh, pandemic response, climate change, and even trade policy. Uh, there are still looming questions about the nature in which his administration handled the Afghanistan uh, withdrawal. And as you heard there, he kind of slid over that. He uh, touted it as a new beginning and the end of the era of war, uh, Sean and Emma. Yeah, mentioned that about 20 minutes in, that attack there at, at Kabul. Emerald Robinson, live for us in New York, right outside the United Nations building. Emerald, thank you. Hi, Emma Reckenberg here. If you like this video, there's a whole lot more to see on Newsmax TV. You can watch for free right here on our YouTube live stream and be the first one here each time our experts break down real news. Just hit that subscribe button, ring the bell icon, and stay with us on America's fastest growing cable news channel, Newsmax TV.